What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q. You know what it is. We're doing it again, man. I can't believe it's been a month already. Oh, my goodness. Look, before we get started, do me a favor. I'll wait. You know what to do. You know what to do. Smash that like button, man. Smash it. All right, just tap it. Push it. Like, tap. Just push the like, like button. I'm sorry, dude. I'm trying to get all that. You know what we're doing, man. You know what it is. I got another one, man. I got another one. Um, congratulations to all the other winners in the past month and the special one I did. Everyone got the gift card. Everyone is satisfied. Appreciate the love. Now, before we get started, you know what I got to do? Got to give you some updates. What's going on in life and everything. First of all, want to give a shout out to Fundamentals of Side Hustling. Patch Kane, you know what I'm saying? Um, he does a Sunday night auction. Every Sunday night, he brings on the guests so they can do auction too. And they be bringing fire. All day. They be bringing some butt. You got some heavy hitters in there. I mean, you got some deep pockets. People up in there. You know, people with deep pockets be like spinning. Um, gave me um, a pick, hey, priority mail. He put in a thing. Wrapped nicely. Pokemon cards I got. It was crazy because before he even put this on the auction, I was downstairs. I'm in my garage right now watching an auction. And my son came down and said, hey, dad, I want to start collecting Pokemon cards. And I said, you know what? Let me see if he'll put some on. Maybe I'll get one in the auction. Sure enough. He must have heard me. I don't know. Got some Pokemon cards. Appreciate the love, man. Appreciate it. Also, want to give a shout out to Cali. Oh, my God. Getting tongue-tied. Cali Reseller Luis. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to post up this channel right here. He does an auction every Tuesday night. He brings fire. Hey, yo, Luis, thank you for holding my stuff. Now, look, I be winning, I be winning the bids and everything, but he be holding my stuff. He don't have to mail it to me because we're local. So... He's been holding some video games I got, and I got to go over there and get them. Um, appreciate it, man. Don't charge me any storage fees, man. I, I appreciate it. I'm coming to get them and everything because I got to link them up with my Xbox 360 over here. But he does an auction every Tuesday night, so make sure you guys are following him. Check him out, his auction, and Fundamentals of Side Hustling. Check his auctions out, too. Check them both out, man. They put out some videos and everything and go from there. Now, here's the one thing I want to talk about. I'm pretty sure you guys got an email from eBay um, talking about some overcharges, man. So what happened was, I don't know if I'm the cause of this or whatnot, but probably not. But um, I noticed a couple of months back, I was going through the old side of the um, eBay because, you know, we're all on managed payments or I don't know if all of us are, but we're on managed payments. And I was going on the other side of eBay, the old side, where you look at all your stuff. So because I ship international FedEx and UPS, and those charges pop up later on, right? So I like to check my charges versus my spreadsheets that I have to make sure everything is equal. Well, I noticed at the end of the month when I'm checking everything, I got double charges. And I was tripping out. Like um, one month, I got double charged on the Funko Pop. And when I look back at my inventory, where I can clearly see that I had three of them. I sold one. I got two left, but according to eBay or FedEx, I don't know which one, one of those guys said I sold two and they charged me double, different prices at that. So I was kind of irritated with that. Um, reached out to eBay. They couldn't help me. They did not want to look on the old side that I was looking on. And I was like kind of irritated. And I think it was only for like, it was an overcharge for maybe $8 and something, I think it was. And, and, you know, but I was just like irritated. I was like, dude, now I'm starting to think back all the other months that I never checked, you know, and I'm just paying them, you know, and some told me to check. So anyway, the next month come, I'm still dealing with eBay. They don't want to look on that old side. According to the lady I was talking to, it happened again. I got double charged again. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So I called them up again. I told them, I said, look, I need you to look on the old side, the old side where you click on fees and you scroll down to the bottom and you see all your fees and everything. Finally, the lady looked for me. She looked and she saw what I was talking about. She raised a red flag. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting back waiting to see what happens. And I finally see an email saying FedEx is overcharged. I don't know if it said FedEx. I got to look at my emails. But a lot of overcharges. And so far, I got refunded $20 back. I saw the credit because they say you're going to be seeing credit. So I don't know if you guys are checking. But when I match my... Because I... Everything I sell, I have spreadsheets for everything, you know, for when I file taxes and all that. Um, well, I have to file my taxes and pay some money probably. But anyway, I have everything matched up. If it don't match up, man, I'm doing further investigation to see. Because money's money, you know what I'm saying? We work hard, you know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody taking advantage of the situation. Apparently, FedEx was taking advantage because I wanted to call FedEx and they said, well, FedEx is not going to deal with you when it comes to eBay. 
So we have to take care of it. And I'm like, well, cool, take care of it. Anyway, appreciate them taking care of everything. So far, I done got like $20 back. I haven't even looked today to see what else, if there's any other money. But I got double charged two months in a row. It looks like I got my money back. Um, and it shows me. And I was like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So you guys look out for that. Be careful. Hopefully everyone is checking their, you know, their, their stuff, man. Because, you know, when I'm shipping international and I'm shipping FedEx and UPS... You know, you got to you gotta watch out for that, man, because FedEx is like double charging, little glitches. I'm going to just say glitches, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, put this down here, man. Just want to share that with you guys. Um, I don't think there's anything else besides me having a big, huge mess back here. Um, it's all good. So, uh, oh, real quick, man. So, I was, I'm on Instagram, and um, I noticed this, this girl posted up, and she seemed kind of upset about people going to the bins, and they go to the bins and they get low, you know, they get everything cheap, of course, right? It's the bins. And um, she was like upset because they're, she's, to me, she felt like they were blaming, she's blaming people that shop at the bins because they sell their stuff real cheap because they got it so cheap, right? Instead of putting it at the price it should be. That's kind of how it took the vibe. And, uh, but then at the end, she's like, you know, I'm not trying to, in other words, she was just saying, I'm not pointing people pointing fingers at the people that shopping at the bins but to me she was but it's all good though um she shops at thrift she she put it in her comments that she pays up for her stuff and again i don't see nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying i shop at the thrift stores and sometimes i pay a little bit more money than what i probably should be paying but sometimes it might be good enough and it might be worth it to pay but um she seemed to kind of upset you know and I, I'm assuming that there's no bins around her area. And I and I feel her though, man, because I didn't know there was a bins in San Bernardino. I did not know. The only one I knew about, I heard about one in LA. I thought there was one in Orange County, but it wasn't. But I heard about one in LA. So I was like, all right, that's way far over there. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll go. Then I found out one about in San Bernardino. So I said, you know, let me go there. And I, yeah, you got to admit, the bins is nice, man. You find a lot of stuff uh, cheaper than the regular Goodwill. You know what I'm saying? So I know it seems she kind of hurt, but it seems she was kind of attacking the people that shop at the bins. Now, I do both. I still go to the thrift stores. I still go to the bins. And I go to the thrift stores more than I go to the bins. You know what I'm saying? Like that. My thing is, I hate listing clothes. But I got to face it. I'm going to have to list clothes. You know, because when you're listing clothes, you got to list the measurements and, you know, the armpit to armpit, shoulder to seam and all that stuff, man. Because if you don't, then a customer asks you, then you got to dig it out of the box, then you got to do it, then they probably won't even buy it. So might as well just take care of it now. But anyway, that was my little rant on um, that. Um, hopefully this person will find the bins one day. And I told her, if you can't beat them, then you need to join them. And what I mean by that, so what I'm looking to do right now, I'm looking at some warehouse bu buildings right now over in... Um, I want to say Riverside, Corona area, probably Corona, like borderline, closer to, uh, probably closer to Corona. I'm looking at a warehouse. I am looking to open up a Goodwill Benz, not Goodwill Benz, but just a Benz where just like you go into the Goodwill Benz. So I told her like this, if you can't beat them, join them. You know what I'm saying? If there ain't one in your area, you need to open up one. Put yourself, just do it. You know what I'm saying? There's the closest one in San Bernardino and L.A. There's nothing in Riverside, Corona, Norco, Eastville, Chino. There's nothing out here far as going, far as bins wise. So I'm looking to open up one. I'm going to see if I can see what they say. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at, I don't know how many square feet. I'm thinking, I thought I needed like 3,000 square feet, but no. I think I'm going to need about maybe five or 6,000 square feet. I'm um, not going to do a storefront because they charge way too much money, too much money. Um, industrial buildings are much cheaper than a storefront turn it into an outlet bin store you know what i'm saying you know just just like going to the goodwill bins you're gonna go to i'm gonna think i'm gonna call it like q's treasure hunt or something like that and welcome all youtubers y'all can film inside through the whole nine anyway that's my little thing i'm trying to do this year man i think i want to open up one man because sometimes when i see people making money i want some of that too you know what i'm saying there's enough to go around man everybody's gonna eat Remember that everybody eats, man. Nobody starves, man. You know what? I, you know where that's from, man. So anyway, so check it out, man. Enough talking, ranting. Let's get into it. We got a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card that I'm gonna give away this month. Okay, we're gonna do the drawing the first Sunday, which is next week. Not, not this Sunday coming up. What's today? What's today? Today's Sunday. Oh, okay. Look, 
I think, yeah. Yeah, today is Sunday. I'm tripping, dude. Look, today is Sunday. So we're going to do the gift card giveaway next Sunday. But here it is now. So in this video right now, this video, I'm going to go over the rules. Got to go over the rules. Here's the rules. Got to be a subscriber. You got to smash that like button. Come on, y'all. Just hit the like button. It ain't that hard. I'm telling you. Just touch it. Just till it turns blue. Anyway, look. So check it out, man. Drop a comment. Any comment. Tell me what y'all think about the girl complaining about the people shopping at the bins. You know, I feel for her. I ain't mad at her. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same way. I, I never got jealous, though. Before I knew there was a bins over here, I didn't get jealous. I see people shopping at the bins. I'm like, damn, I just wish I had one. So my whole thing was, I found one, but my whole thing, like, you know what? Can't find one? Then I need to build one. I'm going to open up a bins. Watch. I'm working on it. I have to start from my damn garage. I'm going to do something. But anyway, look. Drop a comment. Um, let me know if you guys had any problems with the eBay double charging, FedEx double charging people and stuff like that. If you haven't not noticed it, have you, if you even haven't kept track of it, it's time to keep track of it. Check it out. Look at, look back at your sheets and whatever you got to do. Other than that, man, you be in the contest, drop that comment. Boom. We'll pick a winner next Sunday. Um, I don't like doing screenshots. I'm going to tell you again, you do <laughs> look, if y'all ain't got an email, get an email now. Register for an email now. It's free. Trust me. Just like when I ask you to subscribe, it's free. Okay? So make sure you got an email. Um, there's other ways we can verify you. I have to verify you. Please be patient with me. Always be patient with me because I want to make sure I get this gift card to the right person. I do not want to give it to a person that did not win and did not deserve it. No scammers allowed. That's just how it is. So you have to be patient. If you're that hungry, after you win this gift card, you like want it, want it, want it. I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait until I verify you. Trust me, this is not a scam, and I'm trying not to get scammed, and I will give you this $25 gift card, okay? See, I'm going to do the thumbnail like this. Pretty cool? Yep. Okay, look, so drop that comment, smash the like button. Tell me how you're doing today. It doesn't even matter, man. Just drop a comment. I'm going to reply back, let you know, thank you, whatever, and go from there, man. But anyway, let me get up out of here, man. Video's running all along. I, was, I thought this video was going to be like six minutes, man. But, you know, I always got something to say, man. But anyway, so we updated everything. Gave you guys some updates. Um, there's probably some other stuff updated. I don't know, man. Anyway, let's go. It's your boy Hustle Q, man. Smash that like button on your way out. Make sure you subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Share this video. Tell a friend. Do what you got to do. We got a $25 Amazon gift card going out to you. Peace.